The undo, step forward, and step backward commands can be used to either undo or repeat actions performed in Photoshop. To begin, we'll make some changes to this particular file. We'll select the Image menu and choose Image Size from the drop-down. And we will enter a value for a new width. And then select OK. We can then choose the Edit menu. The first option in the list will be to undo our most recent action. There is also an option for Step Forward, which is currently shaded out because we have only performed one action. And we can elect to Step Backward. This will bring our file back to its original size. If we select the Edit menu, again we will have an option to undo our most recent action. And in this case, now we could step forward, which will again shrink the image. If we select the Edit menu again, we can elect to step backward again. Step backward can be used to reverse multiple actions, going back to the very beginning of when you opened your file. But note that if you close a file and reopen it, you cannot use Step Backward to go back to actions that you performed when it was previously opened. You can use Undo, Step Forward, and Step Backward for many of the tasks and actions that you perform in Photoshop, including moving layers, performing actions using any of the tools from the Tools palette, as well as any of the actions performed using the menus. But Undo, Step Forward, and Step Backward cannot be used for workspace changes, like changing the location for a particular dialog box. If we select Edit, we will not be able to change this task. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts for Undo, Step Forward, and Step Backward. If you're using Windows, to undo, this would be Control Z. Or if you're using Mac, this is Command Z. For Step Forward, use Shift Control Z for Windows or Shift Command Z for Mac. And to use Step Backward, Windows users use Alt Control Z and Mac users use Option Command Z.